Hello everybody, welcome back to the Bang of Isaac Afterbirth. Last episode was good. I think that was that green mode run. Yes, yeah, where we got two of the three missing items on. Wonderful. Um, it's time for another special seed. Uh, this one is known as Confetti. I know. Party hard and such. Confused enemies. Alright, so I'm pretty sure I'm not going to be able to unlock items through this, which is going to suck again, but you know. That's life. Do not be Lazarus, I swear to God. Okay, as hazel it is then. Hey, I didn't make the choices here. And we're still on green mode. Does that still work here as well? Yeah, it does. Anyway, we're not going to do this on green mode, because it would be too... Well, it would be over too soon. Wouldn't it? Uh, exit. New. We'll put in confetti again. And I didn't really feel like doing this with this Hazel anyway. Random enemy movement doesn't really seem like a good thing when you have to get close to them, does it? And we're still on green mode. My goodness, am I an idiot. There we go. <laughs> Oh, jeez. No, no, can I? No, no, here we go. Third time's a charm, right? And it gives us Lilith. Hmm. Okay. Well, you don't seem to be too hampered about the whole confusion. Bit, or are you? Maybe it's just because you can't walk on diagonals that you're just seemingly doing weird stuff or normal stuff, but you're actually doing weird stuff. Who knows, man? Who knows? No, it's been a while since I played Lilith. She used to be kind of good on greed mode. You know, you could use your wonderful chest multiple times on one room, causing you to do decent amounts of damage. Okay, okay, no, no, this, this. <laughs> well. I wonder if we'll find something out would be about this effect. Like if there's a pattern to be. Polyphemus. Sweet. Well, these dudes are a lot slower. I do appreciate that. Mm, that's anything good? Spiders. We also got our marked rock right here. Yeah. yeah, just spiders, no money. This fire can shoot at me. Little larva, the poop is moving. Mm, that's disconcerting. Let's we'll see what that effect actually does for us. We're bound to run into some poop, right? It's uh, hard to imagine not to, and there you have it. Well, for what it's worth, I don't really see this poop moving, except for the one I just killed. Oh, we get flies out of him. Oh, that's handy. Now we actually have a reason to do all of this, because we're guaranteed a fly. Alright, so these should do like a huge amount of damage because we have Polyphemus and now Small Rock. Yeah, this is going to be good. So one fly does double tier damage and our tier damage is... Yeah, off the scale already, and we're only on cellar one. So haunt, it, uh, it ain't gonna be a good day for you. Um, what? Did I got shot there. Go kill him, flies. Oh my god, he might actually do it. <laughs> good stuff. No consumables whatsoever, but that's fine. We got everything we wanted. Didn't even need to use my chest there.
More poop for the pile. Probably we should leave that until we go after our boss. The flies are nice. So. Get the molly boom out. If I could use these to blow open some pots, that would be nice. Bombs are nice, but we really need a key as well. Tiny little one. Get him. Can't shoot the bomb, huh? Okay. Let's just get those flies whenever we can. There's really no point in us to waiting. Mm. Bomb here. I'll get us nice in there. And this is not gonna be good, is it? Okay. Well, let's put a bomb here as well. Okay, at least one of them made it out already. I could blow up their hidey hole, which is probably in my best interest, as I'm not gonna have an easy time. Actually, getting shots in there by the way Lilith shoots. We'll give them some time, maybe they'll find their own way out. In the meantime, we'll uh, go check over here. Yeah, they're doing it. Okay, come on. Just come down here. One more. Come on. Nope. Nope. Oh, come on. Alright. There's one more that made it out, it seems. Where is it? Come here, you. We get eight, another a bomb. Sure. That means that's going to duplicate as well. What good that'll do, I'm not entirely sure. Oh, this is bad. We're hit. No, we're not. Okay. Um, let's just stick with what we have as far as trinkets go. A thup is nice. We can go to our boss now, I think. Yeah, sure. <coughs> Come here, pin. <laughs> now watch me get mega blasts. Nope, none of these seem to be that item. Okay, I'll take that. And I think this is my shadow. Yeah, my shadow. Not entirely sure what that does, but we're no longer pitch black anymore. I think that does something when we get hit. Mm. Whatever. Anyway, um, we're actually good here, so I think we're just gonna move on. Flutter to caves. Oh yeah, we get that uh, leech. Not about that. That immediately died, mind you. So yeah. Are you going to attack that, or... Or what? Nope, you just blew up. Okay. Good stuff. Strength. That was quick. Well, that's what you get when you get high damage. I don't think I can get in there. Oh yeah, I can. There's a rock there. I don't think I want to, though. Well, 
One shotting these feels nice. What do we get in here? Not worth it. Spiders do the same amount of damage, so yes. <clears throat> they are a welcome sight here. Ew. It seems like I'm always getting this item when I'm playing with Lilith, which is great because I can duplicate it and if it cracks, yeah, madness happens. Sweet, sweet madness. Can you just charge away from me? Okay. It's going quite nicely. Temperance. Don't really have a lot of full health on the floor. No point in using temperance then. Probably keep strength with me. Because it's better. <clears throat> no way to getting over there. Or here. Or there, unless we get the ability to fly, which seems unlikely. Not impossible, just unlikely. Give me. There you go. Pestilence, you're in for a bad day. Told you. Alright, so the ball, the ball of bandages is also something we can duplicate. <clears throat> I'm more familiar with the merrier, right? Hmm. That's a burp there. Okay, well, um, that's a thing. Cool. Now I'm already impressed by a simple key drop. Okay. Uh, I should really find some stuff to talk about, eh? But, you know. Something will probably pop into mind. Um, hmm. Well, I suppose I can talk about other games instead. Whilst we venture through this, recently managed to do another run through of Dark Souls 2 with a buddy. It was fun. We had our computers in the same room and. Uh, we could see each other's victories and failures and stuff like that. It was pretty great. We did that in preparation of Dark Souls 3, of which I'll also already have a copy. I will not be let's playing that, mind you. I know, I know, it's sad, but I have my reasonings for it. First of all, I'm not entirely sure what the uh, policy on that regard is. And um, I'm going to be copying it again. And Dark Souls is really a game that I would like to go at on my own pace. And I feel like if I'm not progressing fast enough to my liking, that I'm creating bad content. So, in order for me to be sure to not get sued with content ID matches and copyright strikes and being able to play the game at my own pace without I'm deciding not to LP it. That way I will also not bore the hell out of you with me constantly dying. Um. Alright. I wonder how bad this is gonna get if I get hit with the uh, 
the milk. Oh, it doesn't duplicate anymore. Oh, that's sad. Guppy's color. Hmm. Oh, well, you just stay around forever, even though the first thing you touch is gonna kill you. And now you're over there, stuck. Um, I'm actually playing a lot of stuff, and that's not just things for the channel. Mostly for the channel. I mean, uh, FTL, Binding of Isaac, um, XCOM, the Spotlights. What other series do I have? I think that's it, right? Yeah, then I'm playing Mass Effect 2. Like I said, just finished Dark Souls 2. Mm. So much games to play, right? And then sometimes I still play some older games with uh, buddies on the internet. Callus. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> okay, the shot speed is way down, but whatever we hit is probably gonna be dead. Like, really dead. And so that makes our flies and spiders even more potent. Come and get me. So, that doesn't mean I don't need to hold the button down any longer, I just tap it to fire. We've turned our semi-automatic pistol into a bazooka or something. Okay. Um. Get him. That makes my spiders remote controlled bombs. Speaking of remote control, you've ever seen um, that give up about a dude that mounted a chainsaw on a drone? <laughs> that was brilliant. You're asking why, and then you just think about it and go, like, eh, why not, right? Freaking chainsaw on a drone, jeez. Is that Amazon thing already happening where they deliver packages with drones? Kind of seemed like a bad idea as well, but... Uh, did we go to our item room? I think we got the milk, right? Yeah, I think we did. I know somewhere... I believe it's in... Alaska? Not 100% sure... But I know there's ice, and there's ice fishing, where um, you can just order a case of beer to your ice fishing cabinet thing. <laughs> yeah. Whatever people can do to stop having to move, huh? laziness is key. I don't have a drone yet. I don't think I should get one either. Um, they're kind of expensive here. And the rules are really weird here. So you are allowed, but you're actually not allowed. But you are able to fly it. But you <sighs> anyway, um, I'm not going to try and explain it because I only understand like 10% of it. And apparently the police also have counter-drone drones. This is starting to turn into a scene of FTL, I know, but... Like those drones with uh, nets on it to capture other drones. But then again, I mean, if you can't, aren't allowed to fly, then why is the police allowed to? Ah. Ah. Then again, police has been known to break their own rules. I think I make a pretty bad police officer myself. 
or maybe a great one. I don't know, but it's like I notice when cars are wrongly parked. As an example, and I'm like, shouldn't that thing be towed by now? And you just see a cop pass by, not even paying attention to that car, or even worse, paying attention to that car and then just still doing nothing about it. And like, mm, that wouldn't fly with me. But anyway, I think I make a great cop as far as law enforcement go, but I think I would be shanked pretty darn quickly as well because of it. Maybe that's why they don't do their jobs very well. When it comes down to silly things like that. Okay, we can do our first boss. It's monster 2. Uh, he was... Yeah. The days apparently didn't do him very well. I think it lowers their speed and then sometimes reverses the direction they want to go in. Go get a Mew. Are you? He's. What is your purpose in life? Tell me. Anyway, let's do some more rooms. A bomb for a bomb. With a potential crawl space. Nope. Anyway, yeah. I think I'd be a. It's not just that. I mean, I wouldn't. Write tickets for someone dropping a piece of paper on the streets, whether or not it's by accident. I mean, we don't really have garbage cans posted anywhere and stuff like that. But like speeding and stuff like that. When I'm driving and I see a dude like go past me like 30 or 40 kilometers over the speed limit, like yeah, I'd probably hold them down and I mean, all that stuff just doesn't happen. The best thing I've seen so far was cops having to regulate traffic and they were just sleeping in their, uh, you know, vehicle with a newspaper on their head. I mean, like, yep, they're doing a good job there, sports. And yes, there was a traffic jam going on at the time. So it's not like they were having a break because there was no traffic or anything. Oh well. That must be f fun for a while though. Guiding traffic like... Hmm, an asshole in a van. You're gonna stop right now. For no particular reason as to me not really enjoying the car you're driving. Eh, it's getting better. What items do we have now? I think this, the um, sad onion and his mascara um, cancel each other out when it comes down to rate of fire, but I still get the damage buff from uh, Eve's mascara. Um. Anyway, what were we on about? Oh yes, cops and such. But I can't remember the last thing I mentioned. That's what you get when you start rambling, considering there's no order to chaos. You kind of forget where you were when uh, you lose track of things. Um, yeah, guy, uh, <clears throat> doing the traffic thing. Like I said, it would be fun for a while, but after a while you just start to realize you kind of look like an idiot just standing there waving your arms around. And besides, I mean, you only need one driver that isn't paying attention. Wow, you just got wrecked, mate. You only need one driver not really paying attention and you could easily get hit. I mean, if a dude's on his phone or something and he doesn't notice that you're there, then you're done. Anyway, um, we had some great fun in the news recently as well. Um, apparently we now started taking a tax on um, for our roads 
Now we already pay taxes for uh, using uh, the road infrastructure as proud <coughs> Belgians, but uh, now it's also is applicable to foreigners, so that's usually people who come here driving their trucks and they need like this little device that counts how many uh, miles they, or kilometers and all the stuff they do on our... Oh yeah. And that's like a uh, double damage we just picked up. <laughs> this damage is out of control. Anyway, yeah. Um, the need for that device was announced well, 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 well in advance. Like, I believe it was somewhere in October that they started saying, like, yep, starting April, um, you need a device if you want to drive on our roads. Now, October, that's October, no November, December, January, February, March, that's a half a year in advance. And when it came to it, most people still did not have one of those devices causing massive traffic jams because they were not allowed on the road without one. And then apparently that's our problem for not mentioning that such a thing would be necessary. Anyway, um, I'm not defending our government personally. I, I think they're already pulling enough money out of our pockets, so it's nice for them to see them taking it out of uh, other people's their pockets. But, I mean, come on, you got six months time in advance. And people actually started going, protesting, locking off uh, entries to the highways and stuff like that. I mean, guys, you knew this well in advance. And you don't have to be pissed about that whole rule because before that, you were just free to come and go as you pleased. If you look at the surrounding countries here, uh, like um, Germany... In France, they already have such taxes in place. Okay, sure, it's not a... Oh, we're doing it because they are doing it. That's not really a great way to defend yourself against stuff like that. But it's also not a new concept, alright? Is that tele... No, that's not teleport. Actually, we have a use for you once. There we go. Uh, well, I don't know. Things are doing weird things. And uh, it's actually still going on. People are still protesting. So. I suppose it'll smooth out eventually. And apparently it also didn't all start off so smooth. We had like waiting lines of four hours of before someone actually got his a little uh, thing. Apparently a lot of them were broke as well, which honestly I'm not too surprised about. When it comes down to making a fool of ourselves, we generally are pretty well good at it. Um, look at that, we got two of each heart. Oh. Anyway, a secret room can be like in not here, not here. Could be here. It's generally ill advised to go look for them on those Excel floors because, you know, there's like a gazillion possible opportunities, but... Anyway, um... So, yeah. I suppose it's good we can really use uh, the money. Um, apparently we are well in debt. Uh, which is partially due to all those refugees we are... Uh, taken in. I'm not going to state any more opinions on that. I think I've done so well enough on my Bio on the Road series and there's no really need to go back into it. I'm probably going to be kicking against people's shins with that anyway. Might as well keep it out of the Let's Plays. Um, but there might be a way out. By a way out, I mean let's give you some lovin'. Nothing, huh? Alright. Tears and damage up. Why not? And now we have three of those little buggers. Um, right. But yeah, our, uh, apparently we are getting up there in depth. 
But apparently uh, we should be able to get a good deal of our money back that we spent on the refugees. I don't know how or why that's... Well, more as to how that's going to happen. I mean, yeah, we spent like 4 million on the refugees. Can we get our money back now? Who are we going to ask that money from? <laughs> We're definitely not going to get it from Syria because, I mean... That place is a giant war zone. I think there's going to be too much left there to reclaim. And it seems like the m bigger half of Europe is uh, having problems there. You know, it. I said I wouldn't talk too much about it, but... Things are heating up, man. I'm pretty sure we're on the verge of... Uh, I wouldn't call it civil war or something like that, but... Things are gonna go bad. I mean... The few bad seeds that are in there with the um, refugees... Are really heating up everything. Like... Um, Germany apparently has it really worse, and uh, I'm saying this tongue in cheek, but you really don't want to piss off the Germans. Um, apparently, they already have vigilantes that are going after refugees, and if they catch one, he's gonna get a beating of a lifetime. But it's happening here as well. I mean, we're getting like these incredibly silly rules, like, we're not allowed to sell. Like, um, tiny little sausages in bars anymore because, you know, it's pork and it might be an insult to them. Um, they should have to pay less in stores because they don't have as much money. And I mean... Okay, I get it. You're doing it for them, but... Look at... How we see up to that. They get a discount, we still have to pay full price. Why? I mean, it doesn't make sense, does it? So yeah, things are heating up here as well. Um, and a lot of bad stuff is probably gonna go down. I mean, um... The Netherlands, same thing. A lot of people are getting pissed there as well because um, once someone is approved for asylum there, they have um, they start to get certain rights, and apparently uh, some of them are just getting a free house. Yeah, I'm gonna let that sink in. Just a completely free house. I can imagine why people are getting pissed off about that. I really can. So anyway, um, someone I know um, had a plan, and I mean, it's not hard to um, come up with that. There's a lot of talk among them. I mean, just open the news here and. Uh, it's refugees and terror threats. So, the plan there was to have the... Well, the entirety of Europe pull together to one side and just send a massive force to Syria. Not just to go and kill everyone, but to liberate like a decent sized chunk of that country, make sure it's protected and all that, and then send all the refugees back there. Give them food, give them the shelter and stuff like that. Give them the tools they need to rebuild, but send them all back there. What does <coughs> sorry? What that means is the following: people who actually ran away for the sake of the war <coughs> will be all but happy to return, right? Because, you know, it's their home country and they probably ran indeed just for the war. So, <clears throat> if they are guaranteed their safety back in their home country, I'm 
pretty sure they'll be all but stoked and excited. All but st is that even correct? doesn't matter. Anyway, I'll be more than happy to return. What that also does mean is the people coming to Europe to leech off of our social security and network and um, whatnot are going to be sent back as well, meaning they are also no longer a scourge on our economy. I mean, it's a good idea, right? Or not? I mean, sure, everyone that actually is going over here to Mooch is going to be totally against it, and I have Kala, so I'm completely safe here. Um, those are going to be against it all because, you know, your plan falls into the drink. But for everyone else involved, it's great. I mean, refugees who want to go back can go back. And we no longer suffer easing tensions because I can easily see why a lot of people are becoming racist. And it's a sad thing. Because, you know, most of them really do wish to just get away from the war and be left alone in peace. But, again, those few bad seeds ruin it for everyone. So here I am saying that I wouldn't talk about it too much in this episode, and um, here we are. We did. But anyway, I managed to get my rant out. We can go back to the game at hand where we are shooting tears the size of doorways. I'm basically shooting everything in one shot. I, for some reason, also decided to do this entire floor. Well, that'll do it. Uh, we did take the Polaroid, right? Yeah, okay, we're going up. Uh, cathedral. With my spider army, that's like a way to powerful, along with my succubus that does double damage than I would normally do if I did not have that, thanks to BFF. Oh, uh, boy. Well, I looked at the list when we started this, and I think we're a little of a quarter of a way there to going through this entire thing. Uh, I have Kallus so I can do this without a harm. Didn't do the other one because I wouldn't, couldn't be bothered actually. I know it's a mistake but still, you know. Um, what are we getting? Hearts. Alright, back to being a cop now. Um, must be tough times for them as well now. I mean, the whole terrorist threats, the... I can't remember the exact date, but I think it was the 17th of March. I really can't be certain anymore, so... Um, where the terrorist attack on our country happened... Um, our airport got bombed, as well as our subway. A lot of people died there. A lot of people died. But yeah, it does mean uh, a lot of extra work for our police force. It was kind of funny because, um, for those following the Bio on the Road series, um, there's this store that I frequent. And um, that store actually had a, sec a guy from security at the front. I was like, really? People are that afraid? Who the hell is going to bomb a freaking grocery store? But um, yeah, uh, the country got hit pretty hard by fear. Acceptably as well, because you know, it was our biggest airport. And uh, we're now... F Fearing that they will try to attack our uh, nuclear power plants. I don't see it happening. 
I mean, we already have a ton of security there. I'm using just car here, so most of my shots might have an extra chance to land. But yeah, um, our air personnel people can just waltz in, waltz out, do all of the research they need to do. Cricket's body. Well, Chad, you can stay right there. Because I have no use for you anyway. They just. Okay, they just got a lot stronger still. Um. Yeah, I mean, we already have tons and tons of security at our um, power plants, like um, locks for trucks and stuff where they need to stop, where they are checked to see if they aren't taking anything in or out, uh, guard dogs and those little fancy pants mirrors to look underneath cars and, you know, I don't think we need to fear our uh, power supply. At least not a uh, nothing too bad. I think all we can do is hope that this war uh, ends pretty quickly. It seems like we are still we are starting to take back territory, no matter what state they left it behind. I mean, look at all those landmarks that got destroyed. And now we have triple shot as well. A coin. Still have callus, so this creep can't actually hurt me. Oh man! You know, the sad thing about the whole war thing um, is that it puts a certain religion in a bad spotlight um, for no reason. I mean, I'm pretty sure most of those having said religion. I'm not saying the word because I'm not 100% sure on whether it's just a one common name or something, I, I don't know. But yeah, it puts them in a bad daylight, and those terrorists shouldn't be seen as representatives of said faith. I mean, it's like saying the KKK represents Christianity. I mean, it's just not true. Cool. Control bomb. Uh, well, I think over time, relations will go back to a normal state of things, but... For now, yeah, you really aren't painted very well in uh, the news, but, you know... Believe that not everyone thinks all of you are assholes. Some of us know what's going on. I do kinda wonder where those terrorists are planning to go with this. I mean, if they really are trying to... And again, I might be speaking out of ignorance here without any problem. But I don't think pissing off the entirety of Europe and America and all the other places is going to make it easier for them to achieve their goal. So, anyway, that's going to be doing it for uh, this run. So, thank you guys for watching. Hope you're still enjoying the series. Feel free to support by commenting, liking, and or subbing if you haven't already. This has been the Confetti Seed, and I'll be seeing you guys on the next episode. Bye, everyone.